Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade and this is How to App on iOS and today it is time once again for episode 11 of The Words. Today we're going to be discussing the price of entertainment. What's your price for entertainment? We're going to do it all about... Now, hello, welcome to the show. I'm Jade. This is How to App on iOS. I hope you're all doing well. It is Monday morning here in Australia, and I am hyped. I'm excited. I've been wanting to do this for a little while. At the same time, I'm scared, really scared. And look at that. Straight off the bat, I'm being utterly skull by Brad. Thank you, Brad, Hobo Brad. <laughs> is that Brad or is it Hobo Brad? Good to see you all. Uh, I'm going to be uh, t- asking you guys a lot of stuff in the chat today, so I hope you're ready for some interactive fun because this is more than just a, uh, you know, it's more than just a show about apps. This is a daily television show. That's how I treat it. Every day I'm up here and I'm, I see you at a, a set time every day and we talk, we hang out, we hopefully learn stuff, we have a few laughs, be entertained, Interview some amazing artists, get to perform every now and again. There's a, this is a variety show, in my opinion. So it's it's entertainment. That's how I look at it. And we're going to discuss the price of entertainment because the price, uh, everything comes at a price, yeah? And um, we'll get your opinion on it. Let's say hello to you all, then we will get down to biz in us. Um, hello to Pookie, the late night Vampire herself. Conspiracy Music G'day, Steve Garcia. Hello to you. Gregory O'Sullivan. Hello, DJ Cthulhu. I need to have an effect for you. DJ Cthulhu. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Thomas Christ, the most amazing mod on the planet. Russ8889. Joe Glenn, who's hit me up for drums. Uh, we've got SM Borthwick in the house. G'day, Scott. Uh, who else? Let me scroll up and see if I can catch the rest. I saw Falcro right at the very top. Hello, Falcro. I hope you're here for some Falconomics. <laughs> Man, it makes me laugh. Uh, Falcon. The dude's got his own language. It's so cool. Uh, the, 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 the Falcronomy of <laughs> Falcro, Falconomics. Man, I'm an idiot. Uh, have I missed anyone that I need to say hello to? Is up above. I think I, uh, there's Mateus. My good friend Man- Mateus is here for a bit of a rant. We're having a rant as usual. I do love these shows. I love having a bit of a rant. There's my friend Princess LDG. Go on, Princess. We had a bit of a rant about Princess yesterday on the Patreon. Good times. All right. If I've missed you, just let me know down in, in the chat and uh, we'll get... I'll, I'll make sure I, I try and call people out as often as I can and try not to forget. Chad, I saw as well. Hello, Chad. Didn't forget you, my friend. Um, thank you very much, Thomas. Yeah, you can become a patron for as little as a dollar a month, uh, you know, and it's good fun. Well, you get to see behind the scenes of mastering music and so you get to giveaways. Oh, and it's a really tight community of cool people. Every week we do a show on Patreon on this ever – Never-ending list of shows of entertainment. Yes, entertainment. Okay, so let me just, uh, because we're going to be talking about advertising a lot today, yeah? (laughs) Everybody's favourite topic. So why not kick off with a little bit of advertising, (laughs) of course. We've got a massive week coming up on this show. Tomorrow we are taking a look at this fantastic app called Lines by Heinbach and Audio thing. It is nuts. It's off the chain. It's wicked. You're going to love it. It's based on a an old school telephone line simulator. Crazy stuff. It's good. It's really wicked. Uh, the day after that, we are taking a look at iBasist, which has been updated to AUV3. And it also runs on the Mac as well. So that's super duper cool. You're going to love that one. Uh, then we're taking a look at an oldie, but a very worthwhile app called Audio Layer by Versin, uh, which has had an update recently, which works really well now with Zinematics. So you can bounce files back and forward, but you'll see all that this week. And then we are rounding out the uh, working week 
With something very special been waiting to do for a long time, we have the amazing voice of an angel, Viv Sparrow, on the show for an interview sponsored by our friends at DistroKid. And Friday, your time to wrap up the end of the week, will be our second episode of The App Date where we try and cover all the things that we may miss during the week, stuff of like iOS, all that kind of stuff, and it's a bit of a hang just to catch up with shit we have missed out on. All right, there's all the advertising out of the way. Let me be completely transparent with you today, like I always try to be here on this channel, about who I am and what this channel is about. So, I work for YouTube. That is a thing. I signed a, a contract to say that I work for YouTube as a content creator. Uh, uh, once you hit a certain amount of subs, you become a partner. And once you are a partner, you are held to a set of rules by a contract to not only continue providing entertainment content, but uh, serving ads and ads are a way of content creators to make Monet to support themselves to keep the lights on, as Pete Johns would say. And ads are not something new, right? I'm sure you'll agree that ads have been with us since, well, all of us can remember, right? It's not like any of us were born in 1890. <laughs> I think most of us were here since televisions existed and radio. So ads have been a constant throughout all of entertainment. Are they something that you love? Not really. Nobody loves ads. Um, hello, Gary Hubs. And uh, who else do I see has popped in? I saw Chris Lane Senior, I think. I think I saw his name. And there's somebody next to Mars Capone. Hello. Fat Panda Cat. G'day, g'day, g'day. So ads. Here's my friend Gary Hubs. Gaddy. <laughs> I was nearly going to say a line from uh, fucking Team America. Gaddy, you can suck, Mike. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we've already lost the plot. Advertising, yeah? Advertising. It's, it's the bane of our existence, yeah? But here on YouTube, it is a way for me as a content creator to actually earn an income like many content creators, to earn an income. And uh, the way it works is advertisers, right, go to Google. Now, remember, Google, their sole business structure is ads. That's what they are, right? They're not a search engine. They're an advertising company. They always have been. And when they purchased uh, YouTube, they offered creators the chance to actually possibly earn a living. And advertising is the way that is their business model. There are other companies out there like Twitch who do a very similar model. Um, uh, they have become recently in times uh, very aggressive with the, their advertising and uh, it's caused a lot of anger. But there's a reason why they have had to, uh, Twitch especially, have had to aggressively turn up the ads and YouTube are no different. They are feeling the pinch. Uh, creators are feeling the pinch because YouTube are feeling the pinch because advertisers are leaving. And there was a boom during the inconvenience of the COVID times where creators were just, it was happening. It was taken off, man. People were, were locked in and they were watching content and advertisers were loving it. They were loving it. Everybody was making money during the uh, inconvenience. But unfortunately, those times have come to an end and people have back to their normal routines and everything's back rocking and rolling. So advertising has taken a hit. And, um, you know, we've had the adpocalypse, another moment in YouTube uh, history where uh, – advertisers ran away in droves because of some toxicity that was going on. And then you have like things like the woke companies who are like, well, I'm going to remove my content from people who say terrible things, which twist the arm of YouTube to change their rules and make sure that hate speech and things like that are policed more often. So there's a, there's a lot of things uh, with YouTube that 
I complain about, you complain about. But advertising is the main model for uh, content creators to make money. And I know from watching all of you who make music and content yourselves, right, that uh, there's a, and even I, I was watching Valerie Bart today, who's a lot of her episode was talking about checking your subscribers and, and monetization and how to get the best out of getting more subscribers and getting more views. So clearly we want people to watch our content. Uh, now, this brings me to a post I saw last week of somebody saying, hello, can somebody offer me a really good ad blocker on YouTube to block ads? While at the same time, they're pushing to get subscribers to eventually be monetized. How's that going to work? So YouTube have been making changes to their advertising uh, over the last uh, month or two. And uh, they've been, which I'm going to show you some of those changes for people who are signed up to the partner program uh, with uh, advertising content. And uh, they are getting more aggressive and giving you less control over how the automation works with serving ads. But at the same time, they're giving you a little bit more control to manually insert ads as you please, which is an interesting thing because it means I can serve up ads now when I want and have a break like television and tell you all we're going to have a break, which we're going to do today. And we trialed it yesterday on my opening hour. Halfway through the show, I said, uh, all right, folks, for those of you, and you're going to hear it today. It, it's going to be a regular speech. We're trying it this week. Halfway through each of my shows, I will say, it's that time of the show where we're going to hear a word from our sponsors. If you would no longer like to see these ads from YouTube, you can sign up to Premium at uh, the price that is available to you in your country. Uh, uh, but here's the ad right now. And I can control the ad and serve the ad and not everybody will get it. And some people will and some people won't. But then I'm actually manually putting it in and then we'll talk about you while you're gone and laugh behind your back. And then you'll come back and we'll pretend like you missed something. Just for shits and giggles. But I think that's a, a nice way to uh, let people know instead of hopefully you just not getting an ad halfway through. We're going to see how this goes I personally here on my channel. And then after four weeks, we're going to come back here on the rant and I'm going to show you the results, how it's affected my channel monetarily. Yeah. So we'll, we'll take a look at it. We'll see how it works. Okay. What next? Let's talk about entertainment because I want to hear from you. How many hours a week do you think that you spend on YouTube watching content? Now, I know I'm asking you to quickly come up with a number, but think about it. Seven days a week, shows like Metalhead Hippie, six hours, Clay, six hour shows, Chad, six hours, Pete Johns, two hours, me sometimes, me an hour a day. How many hours? Give yourself a guesstimate. Tell me in the chat how many hours you think you spend here on this wonderful platform that we call YouTube. I want to hear what you think. Hello, Independent Many United. Good to see you as well. Let me know because I'll tell you, me, a fucking lot. <laughs> I don't watch anything else. I watched... Uh, Normal television on the weekend for the first time in months and months and months. So long I can't even remember. Only because I have wanted to watch some stuff about the election we had here. Um, and it felt so weird. It felt so weird. Jeez, that's that, 20 hours. Man, you're, you're doing well then. You're doing well. 40 hours, easy says uh, Conspiracy Music. Joe says, I don't mind ads, but they always seem to be placed at the most inconvenient places. Yeah, see, that's the thing. And, and, and I see during my show, Joe, this is a thing that concerns me because I see during my show somebody right in the chat, I just got an ad right now. And it was at such, a, and I get, it throws me off because I'm like, oh, damn, well, I, don't, I want people to have the best possible experience. I don't want to hear that. 
So I, it, it concerns me. But, you know, at the same time, the little money I make from advertising, because it's mainly you guys who keep the lights on here, not the advertising. It's very little what I get from advertising, which we'll talk about soon. Uh, yeah, it, it's... I want to make sure they uh, they come at a decent time. So we're going to try this. Uh, Thomas Cross says 10 plus hours per day. <laughs> That's more like it, man. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I reckon I'm about, four, yeah, 14, 15 hours a day, probably more. It's It's constantly on my TV or any screen that I have going. So a whole lot of hours. Two days minimum, probably, from DJ Cthulhu. At least 10. Less than 20, I hope. <laughs> Way too many hours. 21 hours. Uh, 15 hours here. I watch a lot of regular streamers. The only time ba ads bug me is when I'm going into a premiere. Yeah, now here's the thing. Let's talk about that while you've mentioned it, Miss Your Hubs. One of the things you were able to do back when you would set up your stream is... Decide if you would like pre-roll or post-roll. That's gone. That is an automatic now. I can't turn that off anymore. Um, so what I used to do was have pre and post set to yes, and I had mid-roll off. And then after the show went live, I would pit, put mid-roll ads in for the people watching afterwards. But now... I can't turn off pre and post mid roll. I, I, uh, so that's a thing. And YouTuber want you to put in a mid roll ad. They're forcing you to put in mid roll ads. Yeah. So it just is what it is. They're forcing you to put them in there because they've got to keep advertisers on board. It is what it is. Um, Conspiracy says, I don't watch regular TV. All my viewing is on the tubes. Gregory says, Hey, there's no, hey, Gregory, there's no tube shaming in this community. <laughs> We're woke here. <laughs> no tube shaming. No, enough of that. Uh, Viv Sparrow, hello, my love. You're going to be, she's going to be on the show this week. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. And it is Ladies Week this week here on the channel. So you'll notice a featured artist pinned to the chop. Every featured artist this week will be of the female variety. So hubba hubba. Today is Dragon Lady Experience. To celebrate, Viv Sparrow coming on the show this week. There you go. Uh, and Matea says, everything I watch or listen to now is YouTube. I'm more like TC. Joe Glenn says about 20 hours. Uh, so... Oh, we're getting the picture here. We watch a lot of this shit. <laughs> um, to me, uh, says FPC, to me, ads are no different to watching TV. It's part, it's a part you accept for free content. At least it's not as bad as the USA where it's at every five minutes. Yeah, look, I watch wrestling. I watch WWE on um, cable TV from the US and goddamn Ads in America are just relentless. <laughs> they really are relentless. If it's not insurance, it's uh, medication that, with side effects that would will make you off yourself. It's ridiculous. Or just fast food out the wazoo. Fast food, insurance, and medicine. That's the American <laughs> psyche of advertising, man. Um What's <laughs> Chris Lane say? I'm still trying to figure out how many hours. A buttload. That'll do. A buttload. Everything I seem to watch uh, these days is on YouTube. Hello, Adam Verse. Even the motorsport is on YouTube. Yeah. So this gets me to uh, mid-roll ads would be absolutely fine if the streamer knew when they're coming. Well, this is the thing. Now here, we will know when they're coming. And guess what, folks? They're coming in 10 minutes. Are you ready? Are you grabbing your ankles? Because now you get a warning here on this show. We take a break. A word from our sponsor. And we're going to see how it goes anyway. Um, all right. So so now, now that we've like got these hours that we're all YouTube addicted and we're not YouTube shaming everybody, how, how much would you pay for this? Because... I'm sure there's many of us who spend a lot of money on apps, a lot of money on Netflix, 
Disney Plus, you know, Paramount Plus, whatever your poison is for cable television. And you know those fuckers are going up every few months. It seems like they're going to whack up another price increase. I just got one here for my binge TV. We're putting it up from $18 a month to $22. Wow, $4. What am I getting extra? Oh, 4 k But I don't have a 4K TV. So what, what's the value I'm getting? <laughs> I don't get it. I get more value out of YouTube than anything else. So... Are you prepared to pay for YouTube? How many people here actually pay for YouTube Premium? I've been a YouTube Premium subscriber for three years. And one of the reasons I actually went to Premium was before advertising. Advertising I kind of could deal with. It was the ability to be able to close YouTube on my phone or iPad and do something else and have it play in the background. That's so valuable. Uh, but yeah, not seeing an ad... It's so weird when I log into one of my um, stalker accounts. I, I mean, uh, uh, other accounts to check my stats from the outside accounts um, <laughs> and see an ad. It freaks the shit out of me. Uh, Brad says, I shut off my ad block for this show and I already got two ads at the start. See, well, that's it. This is, this is what we'll get into about how ads are delivered now because it used to be just one. And now they're adding more. So you instead of just getting one ad at the start as a pre-roll, they'll throw two at you. So you shouldn't be, if you are getting ads at the start or the beginning of this show, you shouldn't be getting any unskippable ads, right? They are off. And I will show you how that works in a second. Gary Hubbs says it's worth cigarettes and beer. Apparently about $14 a month. <laughs> If I watch more, at least I'd subscribe. Uh, at least nine euros, I'd subscribe to Disney as well. I've been a premium user for at least three years. I've been using it for several years. Says Conspiracy. Um, Thomas is a premium user for a few months now. Steve Garcia, I've premium for at least uh, two years. Love it. And the thing is too, right, is that content creators do get money from premium subscribers. So it's, it's not as much as an, an ad, but you do get an amount and it's divided across all of the things that you watch. I'm not exactly sure how it's divided, but you do get something. And I don't need to know how much it is because I'd rather people have a, an enjoyable experience than, uh, than being upset about the ads, yeah? Uh, Mateus says, I'm always on mobile, so I've got premium. The minute it was released, best value for money you can imagine. So YouTube are going to be loving hearing this because <laughs> uh, conspiracy. I first got premium so I could listen to you uh, you guys while I was at work and not have to do the phone yet. Exactly. Chad says, I don't mind the ads, and that's a cool too. Uh, Independent Manny says, I started paying for premium while, pl uh, while, while playing education vids for teaching. The ads would often be totally inappropriate for seven and eight year olds. Uh, so they don't bother you. Um, I really don't mind ads. I click through sometimes. Yeah, and there are people that are like that too. I just want to bring this up. YouTube ads are hell. Let me do that. Now. YouTube ads are hell. <laughs> All right, so. Why are YouTube making these changes to the advertising? So now, in saying this, don't get me wrong. Okay? I'm, I'm not here to shame people. All right? So I'm just here for the... I sound, I sound like a... a polit, I sound like a, a politics YouTube channel right now. I am just have, want to have a conversation. <laughs> I don't care about your feelings. We're just here to have a conversation, right? All you woke libtards out there. Anyway, why is it why is it happening? Why are they serving up more ads and why are they serving them more often? And why are they changing the way ads are delivered? Well, it's a it's a a number of things that we need to talk about. Hello, Ali Strong. Good to see you, my love. The reason is, oh yeah, picture in picture mode's awesome as well as uh Clay has mentioned here. 
The reason is, is because not only is the environment of advertising under pressure and companies aren't making as much as what they once were, or they they have higher expectations of where their ads go on videos, right? But also ad blockers. Ad blockers are causing advertisers to put YouTube, they, they're backing YouTube into a corner and saying, well, you need to do something about ad blockers or we're going to take our advertising money and we're going to go. So YouTube have started, and they've been doing this for a while, running test programs, scripts, whatever it is they're running, to identify blockers and warn you that you're using an ad blocker and you should cease to do so or we will do something, maybe suspend your account even. So they are cracking down on it and more and more people are starting to see the messages coming up. Now, they've been testing this out much like they do with a lot of uh, things. They test a lot of new things. Um, you can get on those programs really easily. You can go sign up for them. Where they'll offer you new features that are coming out and you can try them out for a month or whatever. Then they take them away and then they, they look at the statistics and see how people use them. And they've been trialing ad blocker warnings and it's coming. It's coming. Like we're very close because at the beginning of November, there will be more changes to the way content creators set up their advertising. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to happen yet, but it is coming. So you will be pushed off YouTube if you are using an ad blocker and you will be backed into a corner of the same kind of thing that happened with people who were jailbreaking back on iOS back in the day and where iOS, then Apple would release a new update with the firmware that would break the jailbreak and then you have to find a new exploit to get around it and it's this cat and mouse game and that is what's going to happen with blockers going forward and YouTube. You'll find a new blocker that works, within days it'll be dead. You'll find a new one, within days it'll be dead. It'll be just like all those streaming services that uh, set out pirated movies. They work for a couple of days. It's all hell, heaven. You got all these great films and then boom, they're gone. And you got to try and find another one, yeah? That's what's going to be the case with uh, ad blockers. So, I'm not, again, I'm not shaming you if you use one, right? Now, the same thing happened over at Twitch. The very same thing happened. Twitch came down on ad blockers. Uh, Hassan Piker was one of the... People over on Twitch, one, you know, he's a really big streamer over on Twitch and he would get to his ad and say, all right, folks, it's time for the uh, ad at the top of the hour. You can get rid of your ads by just, uh, you know, paying the $5 a month uh, or you can use an ad blocker. And he used to say that as part of his spiel and Twitch ended up coming down on him and saying, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> And now over on Twitch, at the top of the hour, they used to serve two ads. And now I think they serve something like three ads that go up to from between five, three to five minutes. And you can't skip those suckers. And I think this is where we're heading with YouTube. So this is why we need to talk about it, because these things are coming. And speaking of ads, <laughs> hello, Ed B. Metal and Old is King. If I have missed you here, and Tremor Bear, g'day. Speaking of ads, we are at that time of the day, my friends, halfway through the show, and we are trialling this new method of injecting ads into the show. So let's see how it goes. Uh, let me bring up here. So uh, every day here on the live stream, halfway through the show, we have an ad break and I tell you about it so you just don't get dumped into an ad and then miss out on what's happening on the show. If you would like to avoid these ads that happen halfway through the show, then you can sign up with something like YouTube <laughs> Premium and that'll help. So grab onto your ankles. You may or may not get an ad right about now. Let's insert the ad right now. Okay, so some people right now will be getting 
ads. So while they are getting an ad, let's uh, not, you know, detract and feel like they're missing out. Did I tell you about this? This week on the channel here, we have the amazing Viv Sparrow joining us live on the show on Thursday in the US and UK, Friday morning here in Australia. She has the voice of an angel. She is one of the most incredible talents that has come into this community. And I am super excited to finally be interviewing her and hanging out with her to find out more about her career. Very exciting stuff indeed. You got an ad? I'm wondering. Yeah. So as I said, not all people will get an ad. I'm wondering what kind of ad people got. But you will get the option to skip the ad. So make sure you join us for uh, Viv Sparrow this week. See, so I'm being fair. And while you're away, I'm giving people an ad for this channel. Right Now, some people will get it. Some people won't. But at least I think this is working for now. I think let me know. Let me know in the comments after if you're watching the show on the replay. And let me know here right now. Is it okay? Do you like this method of being delivered an ad midway through the show so you don't lose any part of the show? Let me know if you like it, yeah? Because I want to hear your feedback. I want you to have a good, good experience on my program here. And that is the way it is. So I do, I do want that. So. so it gives me a chance now to have a coffee. Speaking of ads, merch available... <laughs> You too can become an unt. Merch available down below. What kind of ads did you get? Yeah, do tell. What kind of ads did you get? I'm sure most of you skipped it. You still get paid for skipped ads, so it's all good. I'm interested in this one. I got an ad for the Edinburgh Residence Reward Scheme. It was actually pretty interesting. <laughs> did you fap? Uh, <laughs> thanks, Thomas. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> yeah, it says, give me an ad as long as I don't miss the part of the show. Sometimes I kiss. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm trying to do. So I, I, I see people miss part of the show and I don't want that to happen. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to continue on with the uh, ad thing. And I think it's a little moment for me to take a breath and, and make light of the whole thing. Yeah, I, I like it. It makes me feel like i got more control. See, even right now, I could just give you another ad when I want. <laughs> Am I that mean? <laughs> no, I'm not that mean. <laughs> Hello, Pete Johns. Yes, we are partying here today. We're talking about the, the exciting stuff of advertising. Advertising. <laughs> so, but it is clear that so, a lot of people here already pay for premium. So you you already are virtually paying for cable television. That's what this is, you know. All right, let me show you. Let me show you a little bit behind the scenes. Now, uh, I have to be completely uh, transparent here. I can't show you here on YouTube, out in the open, in the wild, the wilds of YouTube, um, uh, my behind the scenes of my YouTube studio. I can't show you my earnings. It goes against my policy, my agreement with my employer, who is YouTube, but I can show you a little bit of like how the ads, how, when I set up a show. So you're not seeing any of that, but you know, I'm very transparent about my earnings. They're not a lot. Ad, ad revenue for me a month is about $50. It's not a lot, $50. When I, last year it was about 35. Now it's about $50. It's not a lot of money. I probably shouldn't have even said that. But let's bounce over here. Oh, there we go. So here's my uh, YouTube studio. And I'm going to set up a new show just to show you um, what happens. So I'm going to create a brand new live stream. I don't know why my internet's run so slow right now. Look at that. That's very slow. We're going to schedule a stream. So these are all my streams. We can see what's live over here. I'm going to schedule a brand new stream. And I'm just going to uh, schedule a stream of yesterday. So we're going to reuse the settings here. 
And there we go. There's the reused settings from yesterday's stream. And I'm going to hit next, which takes you to the monetization section of your advertising. And here's the options I get. Just so you know, I want to be let you see how the advertising is changing. So monetization on is what you do. You turn it on. Yes, please. We're going to do monetization. Let YouTube insert mid-roll ads for you. In brackets, parentheses, recommended. <laughs> YouTube will determine which ad formats are best for your live stream. And when ads appear, your viewers may not see ads all at the same time. You will still be able to manually insert ads during the stream for breaks and transition periods. This option can help you earn the most revenue while protecting the viewer's experience. So what happens when I click that? Oh, I get more options here. More options, and these options are conservative, the YouTube insertion option, <laughs> conservative, lower earnings, potential, less interrupted viewer experience, balanced, medium earnings, potential, balanced viewer experience, aggressive, higher earnings, potential, more interrupted viewer experience. Now, I've never used any of these. I have never used this ever, never Choose how mid-roll up here. Now, you'll notice, as I said, there used to be an option to choose pre-roll and post-roll. That's gone. You, there's no, look, see? There's no option here anywhere on this page to add pre-roll or post-roll. They have removed that completely. You now, you are given, yeah? Aggressive, YouTube's marketing <laughs> clearly weren't involved. You know what? I'm, I'm going to send... I'm going to complain about that. I find the word aggressive to be uh, against community standards. <laughs> oh, dear. Let me move this off the screen. Okay. I feel, I feel threatened. <laughs> so then we have um, insert mid-roll ads. Uh, so, all right, we've clicked on this one now. Choose how mid-roll ads appear right now. I used to have last, uh, since this, now this only changed recently. This only changed very recently. And I left on non-skippable, see these display ads, you can't even turn these off. That's unclickable. You can't change that, right? Um, and I left on non-skippable video ads and skippable. But I've turned off non-skippable, right? So you see non-skippables are off, they're gone. Um, and of, of course, uh, YouTube continually tell me by turning off non-skippable ads, you'll make less money. It's like, I, I know, I get it. But like, I, I really want people to have a good time. You know, good time, man. Let me just move. I've got this thing here. I've just got to move. Sorry. Let me move that over here. Where can I move this? I'll move it there. There we go. All right. So uh, these are your options. Uh, with the section here. So once we've decided which ads, choose how to insert mid-roll ads. And you can see you, I have chosen from here on in, insert mid-roll ads manually. Place ads during specific moments of your stream. So every half an hour on this stream, I will be putting in ads. Not really every half an hour. So for our streams, you'll get one mid-roll ad in the middle of the stream. For interviews, where I'm interviewing somebody for two hours, you'll get one in the first half an hour and one in the second half an hour. So you get two served over two hours. And then later on, after the show has finished, I will go back and place in my mid-roll ads for those watching the replay. But here is the other option here. This is what I've been using up until now. Very, uh, like I see it's a good idea, but uh, it's not, it, it don't really tell you exactly how many. So here we go. Determine the frequency of ads throughout your live stream. Ads are not guaranteed and not all viewers will get an ad, right? Viewers that are served ads will rejoin the stream after ads are skipped or ended. You will still be able to manually insert ads during the stream for breaks at transition periods, okay? And here's where you select the frequency. Ooh. Let me go over here to select that. 
And look at these options. Six minutes, 12 minutes, 18 minutes, 24, 30. And I had 30 minutes selected. Right? So 30 minutes has been selected. And I know I had people saying, but I got one 16 minutes in. So for the longest time, it was selected at 30 minutes. And there it is. Now you've noticed there's this other checkbox on the yellow Allen eyes. Under here, there's another checkbox here that says show ads to viewers at different times to maximize revenue. And now I, I read this wrong and I thought this meant when I clicked on this little question mark here, see so it says ads will be shown to the viewer based on when they join the stream. So I thought in my head that meant, okay, so say Conspiracy joins at the start of my stream and he gets an ad served to him 30 minutes in and then Brad joins my stream 10 minutes into the stream, he's going to get served 30 minutes, so 10 minutes after Conspiracy gets his ad. So the ads are spaced out, so not everybody's getting it at the same time. I think that sounds okay. It didn't work like that. <laughs> I don't even know how it worked, but people just got a lot of ads. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm confused. I, I need to know more. Explain to me more. Give me a, a total explanation. These learn more things don't help either. They don't really help. So here we are at this stage in the game. And going forward, we will be using insert mid-roll ads manually. Because I think, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys agree, because it's you know up to you guys, you tell me if it's, it's working, that having a break and having a moment where I can take a breath and then say, and now from a word from our sponsors, it's kind of fun at the same time. Yeah. What I like about it is it makes, it gives you the feeling that it is TV and, you know, some people are subscribed to paying the cable price every month and they're not getting served ads and others who prefer not to um, get the experience of like a television show where I get to do the, oh, no, I work from El Sponsor. I can, it could be anything like uh, insurance uh, or whatever it is. Who knows? You're all going to get different ads because the ads, depending on how you have your settings, are based on your viewing. Yeah. So I don't know if you know that. If you go to your settings, you can check a box or a few boxes, I think it is now, that, that determines what you watch. The data is collected and then that's how the ads are served up to you. And I know it's probably better to get an ad. Um, to get an ad. What's this? I, was this today? I got two ads the moment I joined your stream. Yeah. So that's the thing, Ed what we've talked about today. I can't, and I just showed you, I can't turn off pre or post roll ads. So when you join, you could get an ad at the start when you join and you could get one at the end. No control, nothing. That's up to YouTube. Uh, but you shouldn't get an ad uh, during the stream until I manually send one out. But we're going to be trialing it to see, are YouTube still sending ads? I don't know. I can only trial this and see if it happens. You know, it's a, it's a thing. Yeah, but see, that's the thing, Ed. When you joined, that's classed as, I think, for YouTube as you've just joined the start. So you may get a pre-roll ad because that's the moment you started. It's not actually based on when the show started. It's based on when you joined, yeah? So that's how they they actually run that. Uh, it can be confusing, yeah? So, but uh, look, this whole thing today is really to find out too, not only like how you run your YouTube viewing experience, how you deal with ads, but also to get some feedback on, like, do you enjoy the content you get on YouTube? I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm expecting you do enjoy it because you're here every fucking day, right? I'm here every day. I mean, you should see the videos I watch. I watch videos about snakes and, and breeding uh, tarantulas and spiders. I love that stuff. Um, I watch political stuff. I watch uh, 
nonsense, total nonsense. I watch a lot of uh, stupid YouTube videos on the downfall of other YouTubers. <laughs> there's so much rubbish I watch. And there's a lot of stuff uh, I get sent to me in my feed, like all of us do, that you just see and go, why the fuck am I getting fed this? Because, uh, you know, the, the algorithm's not perfect, which is something we've talked about before. I agree. YouTube premium, premium is pretty awesome, right? The thing is, the thing is, uh, like with Netflix and stuff, you do get an a la carte selection of stuff. Yeah, I do follow Exotic Les. Oh, man, he's, he's great. Uh, also, um, oh, man. A lot of spider stuff, the Dark Den. Um, I, my, some of my favourite stuff like okay, is more like Chandler's Wildlife and um, Brian Barcheck for snake breeding videos. I watch a lot of snake breeding videos and tarantulas. So anything to do with creepy crawlers, I love. Um, but, yeah, YouTube Premium, what Pete said here, uh, pretty awesome, pretty much the same music as Spotify and Apple. So, yeah, you, you get on top of it, like uh, YouTube Music. You know, you get on top of it. So many additional little things you get with premium that are just not like the ads are gone. Right? That the ads are just one step. I mean, with Netflix, you get a la carte music, uh, a tele programming that changes and disappears. Come on, how many times with Netflix have you just signed up for your month? You got you've just paid your month, and you've gone, oh yeah, I remember that show I was going to go watch, and they've fucking removed it. What's going on? You took it away. What's going on here? And more and more, these uh, subscription uh, television things, they're taking away heaps. Like I know, um, uh, what's it called? Um, TNT. Well, who's TNT? Turner Network, who owns the, the, the Turner app, whatever that is now. They've just been ripping shows out of their paid service. The one thing about YouTube is they don't really take away things. If anything, they slowly add more things. So you are getting more value for premium than things like Disney Plus. So Disney Plus are putting up their prices or they're taking away things. So there's always uh, – Ants Canada is awesome as well too. It's a bit bit too theatrical sometimes. But yeah, but yeah there's, there's a lot of these companies who are taking away – um, certain things uh, that you you would expect it to be there. And even with Netflix here in Australia, we don't get the same programs as what people get in the US. So I see people getting stuff on Netflix and be like, oh, man, really? Is that out? Go to Australia Netflix and go, it's not here. What's happening? But, yeah, I think YouTube Premium is an absolute bargain. Um, and I think me saying that is a big thing because in Australia, our dollar is worth peanuts, Compared to your money in the UK and US, like if you're paying fourteen ninety nine for YouTube Premium in the US, be thankful. Here it's about twenty three dollars a month, but worth every penny. Absolutely, I got no complaints about it. So, uh, and and another reason I wanted to talk about it was we need to clear the air that you know content creators still make money from this. And if you are one of those content creators, uh, and you are like striving to get to a thousand subs, yeah, because I know there's lots of you. You all want to get monetized and get a little bit of money back, yeah. But at the same time, you're bitching about like ads. I think you need a mirror. You need to look at it for a while because what's going to happen when you get monetized? People are still using ad blockers. <laughs> Just saying, man. It's not a lot of money that you get from the ad, ad revenue and it's getting less and less. So, you know, the, here's the other option. Here's where we're going to go. Let's end this show with the worst case scenario. And this is a bummer. I don't want this to happen. Yeah, and thank you, my dear Ali Strong, for the kind super chat. If you'd like to super chat, feel free to. There's no obligation or anything like that. It's only if you want to. But, you know, this is grassroots television right here. You guys are the determination of what happens here on this channel. So $20 where you are, Alan Ice. Right, let's, let's go for an end-of-world scenario. So what I'm saying is, Mix Club, 
you you can keep it turned on, but trust me, you're going to get the message like a bunch of people have been getting lately. Because once they turn the big switch, you'll get the message saying, you're running an ad blocker, turn it off or we'll ban you. It's coming, man. They've been trialing it for months and it's coming. Brad got a couple of them the other day. All right, it's coming. So let's go end of the world scenario for YouTube. You will have noticed, my friends, that many content creators now have sponsors. I have one here myself, DistroKid. I love you, DistroKid. Now, and you'll see across YouTube, there's many creators who are using Surfshark VPN or, you know, those games that cost a million dollary do credits on your phone and all these crazy little things and and um, Shopify and you name it. There's so many of them, yeah? So many, uh, <laughs> so many things that people are incorporating into their videos, right? If we get to a situation where YouTube is still fighting a battle against uh, against ad blockers and uh, advertisers are still pulling away at larger numbers, here's what's going to happen. Content creators who now are able to go out on their own, YouTube allow it, and go and get a sponsor like DistroKid who pay you to do advertising and, and offer codes to help people get a discount like I do here on the channel. That's going to be far more often and YouTube will eventually take a cut. There will be a middleman. So you can't escape. <laughs> you can't escape advertising. It's been here forever. It's not going away anytime soon. And, uh, you know, we've lived with it for a long time, but I really don't want to see us get to the point where YouTube step in and say, look, we just don't have the advertisers anymore. And um, that little deal you have with DistroKid, we want 30%. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I really don't want that to happen. That's terrible. Uh, Brad says here, I get the, we know you're using an ad blocker notification every time I open a new uh, YouTube page. Yeah, and it's going to happen more and more. This has been a thing they've been trialing and you can sit there and say, but I've got an ad blocker that, that they can't get. They will. They will. They're, they've been trialing the software and they you will be playing cat and mouse. It is the way it's going to go. So again, what is this content worth to you? It's either going to be, I can deal with the ads or I'm going to pay for premium. Or I go and watch something else. So, you know, uh, I just want you all to know on this channel here, I can't speak for any other channel, but I, me, I will continue to strive to innovate this show, offer new kind of things, fantastic interviews with people, uh, uh, dedicated tutorials, live performances that I put everything into. I will continue to evolve this channel, be as honest and upfront as I can to you, the, the viewer, the supporter, the people who keep the lights on more than advertising uh, ads can do for this channel. So that is my guarantee to you. And now I've listened and we will put manual ads in on these shows, yeah? So that is my uh, promise to you. And next year, this show will get even more entertaining. We're going to take you overseas to Thailand on this show. And it's going to be really exciting. So hopefully you'll keep supporting this show and hopefully you'll keep supporting other content creators because uh, I thank you so very much and I owe you all so very much and uh, get up and keep trying to create stuff that entertains. Okay. Speaking of entertainment, Peter Johns, my friend Peter, <laughs> Portal, he's coming up with YML where he's playing your music, yeah, your music live, and I'm going to dump you over there so you can hear your fantastic music being played by Pete Johns, or at least two minutes of it. <laughs> and I'm going to go out today with our featured artist who is the Dragon Lady Music Experience. It's Ladies Week here on the channel. All the music I'll be playing at the end of each episode will be from a female artist. I want to thank you all for hanging out here in the rant. I hope you're enjoying these rants. Hit the thumbs up. Do the stuff. It makes me happy. Keeps the algorithm chill and cool and all that stuff. 
And uh, I'll see you here tomorrow to take a look at another really cool app called Lines by Heinbach and Audio Thing. Remember, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better and we will all rise together. And I'll dump you over to Pete after this wonderful song by Dragon Lady Experience called Wonderful Life. See you later. Cause you make me shine better